We're going to demo today a design example using a single operational amplifier that can accommodate multiple input based on a paper submitted by Bill Burbanik to IEEE many years back. Let us consider somewhat like this. Here we have an operational amplifier with inverting input here that has many input connected to the inverting input. In the formula, the alphabetic subscript voltage and the corresponding alphabetic subscripts ABC for resistances and a, a grounded from non-inverting to ground RY need to be calculated. For those that goes to the non-inverting, the resistances is designated by R1, R2 and so forth and the grounded RX and the input B1, B2. So using the generic notation, Bervansic develop a design summary. Supposing there is a need to generate an output voltage V sub zero that has a series of positive weighted signal and a series of negative weighted signal. Adding all those positive coefficients designated as X and those negative coefficients combined as Y, then he introduced Z equal to X minus Y minus 1. Then came up with this design summary. Initially, a suitable feedback resistor RF need to be assumed first. Then based on the value of Z, if it's strictly positive as case one, if it is strictly negative case two, if it's exactly zero case three. The calculation of the Non inverting input is taking the common feedback divided by the corresponding non inverting coefficient. And the inverting resistor divides the common feedback by the coefficient. Now the Rx and Ry dependent on the case for case one. There is no need of grounded non-inverting, but you need to calculate Ry by dividing the RF by Z. For case two, Ry is not needed, but we need to calculate Rx. For case three, none of them is needed. So let us propose this design sample using the technique. Create a V sub zero signal five times of V1 plus three times of V2 minus two times of VA minus VA. So later on we will introduce each of these four input to be one volt apiece. So if you substitute that you will have here five plus three minus two minus one that is equal to five. The calculation of capital X is the sum of 5 and 3, which is 8, and Y is 2 plus 1, that is 3, and Z is 8 minus 3 minus 1, that's equal to 4. So that is case 1. So therefore, Rx is needed, but we got to calculate Ry. 
The best way is to find a suitable RF that will be that will lead to standard value for each of the remaining. The easiest way to do that is to take the least common multiple of the gain 5, 3, 2, 1 and the value of Z. It turned out to be 60, the smallest common multiple. So multiply that by 4K that produces a readily available standard resistance resistor value of 240K ohm. Based on that, the rest of the resistor can easily be calculated using the formula given in the table of summary. So we will borrow one of the single pole operational amplifier module available from eCenter. It has an input impedance of R in between non-inverting inverting 1, 2. And internally it has two voltage control voltage source. The first one on the left has a gain of E gain and the one on the right has a gain of E buffer value. And it has an output resistance of R out. And the RP1, CP1 determine the break or frequency of the model. The model provided from eCenter is like this. It has a sub-circuit name of OPM1 at 1, 2, 3, non-inverting, inverting output. The input resistance is 10 mega ohm. DC gain of 100K, call at 100 hertz. So the product of this produces a unity gain product bandwidth of 10 megahertz. And the E gain value is 100K across node 30 due to the voltage from 1, 2. And the E buffer has a gain of 